and I'm in the middle of making my tuna salad. I'm sprinkling the hemp seeds on. I'm like, Jesus Christ. So you know when you're in the middle of making your vegan tuna salad and then you start to remember the dream that you had last night? I made an effort to remember this dream because I thought it was really like arcane. Late last year, I went into the desert to the Psytrance Festival, so that's kind of where this dream took place. So in this dream, I'm in Apple Valley and this festival is going on, it's Psytrance, and then I just kind of go off into the distance. There's two dogs with me for some reason, a white one and a black one. I think they're huskies. And the black one goes off on its own and I'm trying to go find it and I'm worried about them and I'm trying to like walk them and everything and take care of them and look after them and they're just like too much for me to handle because they're like way stronger than me. But anyways, I follow the black one who kind of leads me to this deserted area. So we're in the high desert so there's like sand everywhere and maybe some shrubs and then I'm being led to this area where there's like this overhang. And I go into this area and there's like beautiful red tapestries draped everywhere. But you know, they're like dusty with the sands of time. There's like red carpets. There's also light in this area, at least enough for me to see. Um, but there's no windows. I think there might be candle candles or something. Because there is a faint glow that's lighting up the area so that I can see what's in there. Sorry, my dreams can get really detailed. So being the curious person that I am, I went and I explored every little room. There wasn't a whole lot to it. There were like some pillows on the floor. There were the tapestries hanging from the tall walls. Maybe some candles. But then there was this one room, and it was like the room farthest to the right at the back. And it was different from the rest of the rooms, because it almost seemed like it was a part of a structure. The first thing that I noticed was the floor, which seemed to be maybe built out of marble. There was this gray strip that kind of went around this area, and in the area that it was going around was this bed. And the decor of the room was also red like the rest of the area. The blanket on the bed was red. And the floor had other colors on it too, like maybe black and grays. And anyways, like I said, it was like marble. It was pretty, it was shiny. And my attention got drawn to my left, which was this thing. Um, how do I describe it? It was this thing and it was it was spinning. It was like rotating. It was kind of almost like a a, um, a story, like a story was being told. And there were just like these little panels that kept flipping and I could like flip them, I guess with my mind, flipping up and, and backwards and they told a story if you went from one way to the other. I remember there were some words on it, um, or at least I think they were words, and there were pictures on the panels and the pictures showed a dove. Now I don't really remember what the story was telling. I remember that like I was discussing it with somebody who was there with me and I think it had something to do with Jesus. But anyways, it was really interesting and as I'm coming out of the dream, like things start to change of course and like instead of like this flippy panel, there was more like a projector and then like, you know, the story was being told on the projector. So I don't really know what my higher self was trying to tell me with that, but um, that was my dream. Anyways, back to the kitchen where I'm making my <laughs> vegan tuna salad and then the Prince song comes on and he's talking about doves crying and I'm like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> 